there is a video circulating about Joshua Selman being a Freemason. And I'm going to share this video with you. Now, when I saw this video, it was obvious to me that something occultic was taking place, that something ritualistic was taking place that is not biblical. You understand me? Um, and I already expressed my concerns about Joshua Selman, about the whole graveyard thing and getting the anointing this way and Kobos and TB Joshua and the prayer altar with all the pictures of the general, you know, trying to correct Apostle Paul's teaching and saying he wasn't right. All these things that Joshua Selman has stated. Now, this video, and honestly, is suspect. But this video makes you raise an eyebrow and you're like, what on earth? This is why I say you cannot put any man on a pedestal, which means that you cannot have any idol. You cannot raise someone up as if they are infallible. When God raises someone up, they will still be fallible. They will still need um, uh, to make, they will still make mistakes. Okay. They will still need to repent. They will still be rebuked and and corrected. They still need those things to happen to them. And if they have humility, they will change. If they have humility, they will repent. If they have humility, they'll receive the correction. Now I want to play this video for you guys. I don't want to talk too much because the video speaks for itself. So let's go ahead um, and play this video um, so you guys really understand. Hello, my gorgeous and fabulous people. Do not X this video out. Watch this video to the end. Share this video. This video is very important. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure majority of you folks know these three men. If you don't know them, keep watching this video and share this video. This one right here is supposed to be Bishop Duncan Willens, based in Ghana. This one is Pastor Jerry from Nigeria. This one is Pastor Selma from Nigeria also. These men are highly occultic. These men are part of the free mercenary occultic group. I'm telling you folks, share this video. Majority of you people are going to get angry because of what I'm saying, but don't get angry and run off. Sit and listen to what I'm saying and watch these videos that I'm going to be playing for you guys before you run off. Share this video. Watch this video. This is supposed to be a so-called church service where... You know, before I continue this, there's something she said. She said, don't get angry and run off. Just You can get angry, but just watch and listen. Right? The, right? the Bible says in uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 3, get wisdom and get understanding. And the Bible also says in Hosea that my people perish for the lack of understanding. And you will never get understanding if you are just always running away or if you refuse to listen and try to understand and dissect what is taking place, what's happening, what is being said. So please just really try to have an open mind in this and really try to think about things critically, think about things biblically, okay? Just just really think. Bishop Duncan Willens supposed to be Hanoverian or soy to Pastor Jerry and Pastor Selma. You folks tell me, how is this biblical? Tell me, let's watch this video together, everybody. Tonight, I want to hand you over a sword, which is a symbol of authority in the spirit. Whenever you lift up this sword, let heaven respond. And let heaven respond by lightnings, by thunder, by earthquake, by fire, and by mercy. In the name of the Lord Jesus, hold the microphone for me. I hand you over this sword. One thing I'm going to say is that you do not need a sword for heaven to respond or for miracles to take place or for there to be anything you don't. Biblically speaking, everything is done by prayer and fasting. This right here is just carnality. Okay, it's carnality. There's no biblical context to validate what he's saying. It's carnality. Let it bridge the gap between my generation and your generation. Now, 
Now, if this exact same presentation is going on with Jerry Easy, it's going on with this next person. I've seen Kobos get the same sword. Is a picture of him. He has a picture of him holding the same sword. And if this same presentation is taking place, is indeed some form of initiation, some form of ritual, 100%. That's undeniable because what's taking place here is not biblical at all. It is some type of presentation. And you're going to see Joshua Selman, the same presentation take place. And he's giving them a hug. The Archbishop guy, Duncan, he's giving Jerry Easy a hug. Okay, and it's like a welcoming. You, you can't be blinded to this because this is not biblical. There's no scripture to validate what he's doing. Your hands are lifted. As the sword is lifted. Let the sword of God's deliverance be lifted over your lives and your situation. You know, and this is extremely deceptive. Because now people's focal point will be on the sword. Where people think that the sword, oh my gosh, it's going to be powerful. This is going to happen. So when I lift up the sword, it's, it's unbiblical. It is carnality. And it is definitely ritualistic. Because this man, Jerry Easy, has received something. He has presented something. And he has been welcomed. And that, that is his token. That is his token. All that has happened tonight. Uh, before we do that, um, what is the package? And one is for you in bridging the gap between the old and the new generation. What does he mean by that? He said that to Jerry Easy too. He said this is for you for embracing the gap. Or let me let me listen again because. To all that has happened tonight. Uh, before we do that, um, what is the package? And one is for you in bridging the gap between the old and the new generation. Embracing the gap of the old and new generation. What does he mean by that? Jerry Easy, he said the same thing to him. See how it's the same presentation, the same wording. This right here is 1,000% a ritual, 1,000% a presentation that is not biblical. What they're doing has no symbolism within Scripture. Now, they can say it represents the sword of the Spirit, the, the full armor of God, the sword, the Word of God. They can say those things, but their presentation and their wording contradicts it. And he said, lift it up. Guys, do not be deceived in these last days. This is not normal. This is not biblical. This is a ritual. This is a presentation. Do you understand me? And in that sword, there are symbolism. There are things, occultic symbolism, that we'll, we'll talk about later, that I'll show you later. You cannot just listen and say, oh, they're deep revelations. Ever since I've been listening to him, you're, you're blinded. Sincerely grateful. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. This is an honor, Ghana. Papa, thank you. I, I guess you guys just saw the video where they were Hanoverian soy, right? Pastor uh, um, Bishop Duncan Williams, who's supposed to be the head of the Free Masonry from Ghana, Hanoverian soy to Pastor Jerry, to Pastor Selman, and to that other pastor also from Ghana, my Lord. Like I said, how is this biblical? Listen to this lady, what she said about the soy, the so-called soy Bishop Duncan Williams is Hanoverian to these folks. Listen, folks. 
So responding to this comment and many other comments like it in the previous video I made this morning, I knew when I made that video that many of you with your men of God sickness and syndrome is going to come after me because I put a clip of Joshua Salmon. Man of God sickness and syndrome. That's what some of you have. Some of you are already typing right now with your man of God sickness and sickness and syndrome where you need to defend and you need to get mad and you need to go crazy. You don't listen. You don't try to gain understanding. You just sit there and get mad all day. That's what you do. <laughs> Let's look at the evidence. Here we go. So this is Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, and he's the one that... And you're just looking at him right now. I'm sorry for the pauses and whatnot. Um, you're looking at him right now. Look at, the, look at the emphasis he has on the sword. Look at that picture. There's something with that sword that he's putting a point of emphasis on it, where he takes pictures with it. He brings presentations at the church and tells and welcomes people with the sword. This is something Freemasons do. This is ritualistic. It gave Joshua Salmon the sword. Look at the sword that he poses with. I want you to remember that sign that we call the Star of David. We're going to come back to it in a second. And that over there is Pastor Jerry Easy. He was also given a sword by the Archbishop. I want you to look at the sword and look at the symbol on the sword and we'll come back to it. So Joshua Salmon was not the only one that received a sword from the Archbishop. Jerry Easy received one too. Here we have another picture of Archbishop Williams. He's got the same sword and it's got the Star of David. But what people don't know, this star that they call a Jewish, the Jewish Star of David. By the lifting of the sword, let the sword of vengeance be appointed. Today I stand on the grace of my father, his eminence, the Archbishop. And by the prayer he invoked upon me, and by reason of the sword he handed over to me, and by the prophetic decrees that went ahead on me, I stand before the church of the Lord, and I lift up these two songs. I now, 100%, this is not biblical. This is not of God. Definitely not of God. There is no biblical context, and there's all these people getting swords. You got to realize this is, this is now a cult. This is a group, and they're all together because of a sword. And this is a public dem demonstration, a public acceptance, a public approval. They're being stamped publicly for this nonsense. Look at all them, the sword. This is Freemasonry. This is ritual. And some of you, if you saw the sword, like the, these women are showing you, you look at the picture and the symbolism, you do your research, you will see. If you brought the sword to go with you, is actually called a shut corner in the Freemasonry world. This is the original or the origin of the shut corner symbol. It comes from Hindu demonic worship and from pagan Buddhism. That is the real meaning of the Star of David that was adopted by not Israelites, but Zionists that are Freemasons. Because in the Freemasons, they believe all gods are enlightenment and all gods fall under Lucifer and Lucifer is the master of enlightenment. And my question is this, okay? As a Christian, why on earth do you need to be projecting this sword? with this exact symbolism and, and everyone that you are presenting and everyone that's your spiritual son or everyone's connected to you, you're giving them all the sword and they're being presented and they're bowing down to the sword and it's a huge honor for them. See, the people that are getting the sword, they know what it means. They, it's like, you know, when you go get, you go, you graduate and you have your graduation, you go to the front and you get your, you get your diploma, you know, you get your token, you know what you're getting. So when these men are getting the sword, they know what it is. They know they have graduated. They know they have been accepted to that brotherhood. This is strange.
If you go onto YouTube and you type in Archbishop Williams Freemasonry link, you will see that he has very strong links to the Freemasons. He speaks about it proudly. He I remember when I got saved and my father, my father was a Freemason and he was a grand wizard for the Freemason. And my dad had a snake in the house we're living in and he communicates with the snake. He wears the free so the the guy that gave Salman the sword, his father is a Freemason. He was a his father was a high ranking Freemason. Now it makes you understand why this man is doing the whole presentation and sword and ritual. Because in Freemasonry, there are things they do with swords. In the occult, there are things they do with swords. It's not biblical, Old Testament, New Testament. It's not. So this bishop guy has is has a obsession with this specific sword. It has to be this sword with the symbolism. It has to be this sword. Listen again. When I got saved and type in Archbishop Williams Freemasonry link, you will see that he has very strong links to the Freemasons. He speaks about it proudly. He I remember when I got saved and my father, my father was a Freemason and he was a grand wizard for the Freemason. And my dad had a snake in the house we're living in and he communicates with the snake. He wears the Freemasonic ring on his finger and the sword that he gave Salmon has the shot corner six point star and the sword that he gave Jerry has the Freemason compass with the G. So to tie this whole thing together on, in three on, minutes star and the sword that he gave Jerry has the Freemason compass with the G. Let, let, let me let me go back to that. Hold on. Okay. Let me try to find that. Let me try to, let me let me let me look that up real quick. Let me look at that sword. Cause if it really has the Freemason G guys, I didn't really see it. So I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna find it in the if I find it, I'm going to I'm going to I'm gonna post it on my YouTube in the comments to confirm. Because if this actually has the G, guys, and I think it does, uh, uh, I think it does. Right, I'm just sorry, guys. I'm just looking on my phone. I apologize. There was very occultic symbolism on this sword, 100%. That Bishop Duncan guy is definitely still in Freemason. Yes, it has that symbol. It has that symbol. It has that symbol, the G symbol. Um, it's on that sword. Right? So this is definitely Freemasonry. So to tie this whole thing together in three minutes, Joshua Salmon did a Knights Templar Masonic ritual on stage with the sword. He received the Knights Templar welcome into the Masonic Lodge from the Archbishop and so did Jerry Easy. So before you people come for me with your pastor syndrome and your man of God syndrome, please do your research. There are wolves in sheep clothing on the pulpit. Ask the Holy Spirit to confirm for you for himself. God bless. It's me, I know after watching this video, some of you are still going to come in the comment section to defend these Luciferians, these devilish men. I'm, I won't be surprised. Trust me. You can go ahead and de defend them. You can go ahead and insult me. You can go ahead and say what you want to say. I pray that God will open you folks' eyes. These men are highly satanic. They are devilish. Mm. They are of the devil. Wake up, people. These men will lead you to destruction. They will lead you to hell, my Lord. These men are part 
of the Freemasonry. They are not even hiding it anymore. These men are bold. They are performing their rituals right before our very eyes. Wake up and see the daylight. My Lord, I pray that God will open you blind folks' eyes hmm. to see that these men are not of God. Stay blessed, everybody. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And please share this video. Because you see these devilish men, they have hundreds, if not millions of members. Share this video so their members could see. And by the grace of God, their eyes could come open. Stay blessed. Love you all with the love of Christ. Bye, everybody. And, and one second. You can go ahead and insult me for telling you the truth. That's your business. I don't care. Bye. And that's that's the time of that's the type of time I'm on. I don't be caring. Now, when you when you really research Knight Templar sword, you see the same swords that this guy is giving to Selman, and it it makes you really understand why Joshua Selman was correcting Apostle Paul. First of all, he lied that Apostle Paul came to him. Number one, and then he claimed that. He claimed that Apostle Paul, some of the stuff he teaches in the word is wrong. It's inconsistent with the character of God. That's what he said, right? And he has said a lot of other stuff of going to the grave, of going to the graveyard, Kobos going to the graveyard, cutting grass at the grave of William Branham, and then Joshua someone being anointed by it. And these things are strange. And a lot of people are like, you know, maybe he has renounced in the... Why would Joshua Selman, someone who's supposed to be so biblically accurate, someone who's supposed to be a revelator, a custodian of revelations, why on earth is he allowing a this ritual taking place? If anyone that has basic discernment, you should say, what's this sword mean? How does it have any biblical reference? What is it? What is the significance of it biblically? Because the sword within scripture is the word of God. The word of God is the sword. So we don't need a physical sword. And why is Bishop Duncan, I don't know his name, right? Why on earth is he giving everyone these specific swords and they're lifting it up and praying with it and they're being welcomed? And why is there a ceremony before the church? Why is there a public presentation? during the service for everyone to see and everyone's clapping it is a gift it is a token this is an acceptance my people open your eyes open your eyes this is a brotherhood that everyone who has received the sword the knights templar sword they're in the brotherhood freemasonry i'm telling you all these people are connected are you joking me do you think people are just getting swords what does someone have to do to get that sword did he preach the word good enough? Did he travel enough? Did he get it? What, what, what did he do to get that sword? They said that he bridged the gap of whatever. No, 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 no. This is why some of the things Selman is teaching and preaching are inconsistent with the word of God. Exposure is here. These men are Freemasons, and I'm saying it now. My conclusion is that Joshua Selman is not who you think he is. He is not a man of God. I've heard too much. I've seen too much to sit here and say, mm, maybe it's just, no, 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 no. Even a homeless man can see this and say, this is, this is something. Do you understand me? This is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This is why, guys, you always, you can't just go on TikTok and YouTube to listen to stuff without really doing your research. And I've been victim to that. I've been a prey to that. I've been victim to that. Joshua Selman. That's why I stopped listening to him. I listened to Apostle Romeo say, you understand me? Joshua Selman, this stuff, rituals, unbiblical presentation cult behavior, brotherhood, where there are different people. Go look at all those people that get the that get the, the sword. Watch if they really presently teach on condemn, they, they condemn uh, sin. 
condemn homosexuality, if they really preach holiness in context, you will see that things have changed with some and people, things have changed with these people, that they have changed calling out certain things. There's a change. And with these people, they're gonna they're gonna really focus on miracles. They're gonna focus really on this false unity. This is ridiculous. It's unbiblical. And because many people don't know nothing about Freemasonry, the occult, and things like that, they look at these things before your eyes and you sit there. And you sit there. When Joshua someone has said that. He is a product of many anointings that he used to pray at altars on people's pictures and run ar and, and roll around to, to be just like them, to be a living wonder like them. And he would, there would be, there will be things done to oils, concoctions done to oils from at the, at a grave site to get William Branham's anointing. And it will be, it will be poured on Joshua Selman. He has never renounced it. And this right here, he has not renounced it. And this is recent. This is not normal. That man has picked out that source specifically with those symbolism that are that that aren't biblical. They're not biblical. The, the symbolism it has nothing to do with Jesus. It has nothing to do with Christianity. Nothing. So why are you bringing something ungodly? Why can't you have got a, a regular sword? Why does it have to have all the Illuminati or the Freemason and? the Star of David, everything on it. Why? These people are using manipulation and you see them wearing the big fat ring. It's not their wedding ring. That's not a wedding ring. I'm Bishop Duncan. That's not a wedding ring. Study on Freemasonry. Study on the Knight Templar. Study symbolism, the origin of it. This right here is carnality, Freemasonry, occultic, demonic, deception. Straight up. 